Okay, folks, in terms of where I am, this does not tell the true story, but you can see over the other side there is uh, Wentworth Falls. And maybe if I can just be quiet, you'll be able to hear the waterfall. But this is a ledge you have to walk on. You've got about that much space to walk all the way up. Look at that. I've come through those trees. I'm going to walk down here. Yeah. It's interesting. Right? Beautiful day out here in the mountains. Yeah. Beautiful day. See me walking down to the. We're about to start. We're halfway through Roberts Pass. We're about to start Lindemann Pass. The toughest track here in Lura. It's quite obvious why. It's very, uh, very rural this one. A lot of trees around. It's got these leaves and it's making it very slippery. With your feet. So you're going through the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Going down the big hill here. Very steep. Very steep hill. Bit of bush brush involved here. I wonder if I'm going to see anyone on this track today. I never see anybody when I do this one. Because you have to be crazy to do this one. Hey, there we go. There's a slip. First slip of the day. Yeah, you need to have sticks in here, I reckon, or a pole. <laughs> Far out, folks. You seen that, didn't you? My bloody slipped. You seen it? For sure. 100%. Uh, it looks like we're working our way down. Down to Mars. Yeah, this is going to get slippery in here because this clayish mud rocks. Hey. Look at what that rock is behind me. Huge rock boulder. Okay, we're about there almost. Little. <laughs> Makes you step, staircase. There you go. Let's go over here. Today I'm going to go to Gladstone Pass and I'm going to try go up that one. I'm not going any further today. I want to go try do this um, Gladstone Pass, sorry, Copeland Pass. And try to get to that section. That's the, <laughs> that's the uncharted territory for myself. If I don't fall down, I'll be right. Oh, we can't see the Lindemann Pass sign yet. That's what we're waiting for. I have not located that yet, but we've got the old remnants of Lindemann Pass. Here's another tree down. Far out, there's going to be trees everywhere. I think it's a distant. I've counted four trees down already. Four trees. There should be a brick in the road here. Or a rock. Yeah, right. This is getting really hairy now. It's getting really hairy, really dodgy coming up here. Hey. That's right, we've got to go down. We don't go over that middle part anymore. That's you remember, you've got to come here and go to the right. I've got to remember that. I've got to put a marker here. Otherwise, when I come back, I'll be stuck. Where this stick is, that's where I'm coming back. There you go. Signature. You see that stick? That's the right way. It's getting bloody slippery, isn't it, folks? This is confusing, isn't it? I've not located the section. Now I've got it. It's up and down. Up, down. I forgot that. That's the way this track goes. Up, down, up, down. So we started up, went down, then we're going up, then we're going down. Yeah. We're gonna get to the start at Linden and Chicken. It's a fair hike till you get to the start. It's technically already started anyway, so there's no confusion about it. It's getting dicey now. Going down to the valley floor. And I think we're gonna go up again. Yeah, 
Buddy, look at this, buddy. Any confusion. Confusion. Let's make sure you go down the middle at all times. I've been walking for about 35 minutes, so I'm not even at Lindenham Pass yet. They say it's one hour to Inspiration Point, but I got there in like 15 minutes. It's a load of baloney. It's not one hour to Inspiration Point. Okay, let's go down here. I didn't mean to run then, I just got too much speed. This is going to test your mental strength, this track, let me tell you. I'm already sweating a lot. And mind you, I'm rugged up, very warm. Six minutes I've had this video running. I thought I would be here by now. I'm actually... There you go. Come on down, son. I see something around the corner. Good bloody... You have to be good to find this track, let me tell you. You have to be good. Otherwise you're stuffed. Okay. We've got another track the other way, which is a shite track. Valley of the Waters, see? These hikers were with me before. They wanted to know where Valley of the Waters was. They should have gone down there, to here. So, see, so this is Roberts Pass, route only. That way is Lindemann Pass. Let's continue. Oh, holy crap, I don't think I'm getting in here. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, right. This is not good, folks. It doesn't look good. I'm quite sure I might be turning back today. Let's have a look. We'll keep going, we'll push on a little bit. There you go. Holy crap. This looks different. There it is, folks. A bloody tree. There's a new tree here now. This wasn't here before. I think it was. This is the traditional one. Broken tree's always been here for many times. Look at that down in the valley. You want to go down there? No, thanks. It's okay. This one, folks. Lindemann Pass, remote area unmarked route, tracks are rough and hard, find behind point. Landslide and tree fall. Should we go on it? I'm going to go on it. I'm going to try go to Copeland Pass. If I don't do it, I don't really care. Because look, honestly, this track is very, very hard. It's not an easy track. So just have a bit of fun with it. Take my time and see how we go. I'll get back to you. Peace.